All right guys, so I'm back with a part two on the Westinghouse 40 horsepower electric motor. A lot of you guys call me out and not posting part twos. Sometimes these things don't get fixed, but this one's getting fixed. You can see this thing was extremely dirty. It's cruddy, it's nasty. All that extra dust and debris that's inside of that's gonna be throwing off our balance. The inside of this winding was extremely filthy. We got it pretty clean. We dried it out so we could electrically test it and make sure that it was in good shape to be able to be reassembled. Unless we had to rewind it, we would have done that also. We ordered new bearings for it. Those came in. I did not like these electrical connections. I simply put the bolts back in. I did not put these little bulldogs back on there. I zipped them to the eye hook on the top of the motor. If they want to reuse them, they can. However, I would not advise using those. They should just bolt them directly to the feed. Everything about this motor was just in really gross shape. So as we go, we're taking our time on each little piece. There's our final connection inside of that pecker head. Here is our rotor. I'm not really worried about all this gunk on the end of that shaft. We'll clean that up while this thing's rotating. But I do love these fans. They look so cool um, on the rotor. Just, I don't know why. There's a second look. Woo! Don't that look cool? I like it. And another one. Bam! In your face. I like it. At this point, we can go ahead and throw the end bells on and we'll go ahead and fire this thing up and we're gonna run it for you. And so here we go. You can see that left foot lift up a little bit. There's a lot going on here with inertia and torque. Um, this is some emery cloth or some high grit sandpaper, if you will, that we use to clean that shaft up. We're not looking to take metal off of that shaft or change the size of it, just simply take the corrosion and paint off of there. 509 amps on startup when we'll go ahead and take a look at the rotor spinning inside through that open end bell. We're gonna take some final looks at what this thing is looking like before it leaves the shop. Um, another close up inside where you can see the winding and just picture back at what this thing looked like when we received it. All that dirt, all that filth that was inside of it. And then we will put the coupling on and we're gonna take one more look at what it looked like just so you guys can see the amount of work that was done. Thank you for the comments. Thanks for the follow.